Hi, my name is Kate Dwyer and I am here in my house in Kansas City. I actually live in a suburb called Fairway, but it's basically in the Kansas City metropolitan area. And right now I'm sitting at my desk, but it's actually our dining room table. That's where I do all of my schoolwork. Um, I am currently a dietetics major, and this is my first dietetics class that I'm taking. I've actually been bulking up on prerequisites before I started taking these classes. So I've been doing a lot of chemistry and a lot of math. Um, I have a previous degree from the University of Nebraska in French and International Studies. But after I had my second son and I thought about going back to work, I really didn't want to do anything with French because it usually requires a lot of travel and I wasn't passionate about it anymore, but I've always been very interested in nutrition. So I thought that it would be a good idea to start getting another degree. So that time, by the time that my kids are done with school, I could potentially be working somewhere that I'm really passionate about and really excited about. Um, so that's kind of how I got started here. Of course, I looked at KU and K-State because I'm from Kansas and K-State turns out to have such a great program and the convenience of being able to work online. So that was really exciting for me. And I'm just excited to get started with this class. So this is my kitchen, um, which is part of my food environment. I'm pretty lucky because we have a really big kitchen and I have been able to have enough room to put all of my gadgets. So we have a big stove and two ovens here, and then I've got another convection oven and a microwave here, and then we've got our really big refrigerator and big freezer. We have a ton of refrigeration and freezer space in our house, which is great because that allows me to buy foods in bulk and freeze them, or when I cook soup or something, I make a really big batch and then freeze little containers of it to eat later on. So that is really nice to have. And then back here, I have my pantry. That's where my dogs sleep. Um, back here in the pantry is where I kind of hide my gadgets. And I do love a good food gadget. So we've got a coffee maker, a Vitamix blender, a toaster oven, mixer, and an air fryer. Um, anytime I see these go on sale, I buy one. We've also got, you know, like a crock pot, a food processor, waffle iron. That's where I hide my chocolates from my kids. Um, I actually just bought an instant pot too, but I haven't really used it a lot. So hopefully I can get to learn how did that works a little bit better and start making some instant pot recipes. This is Hen House. This is the closest store I could walk to, but I usually don't. I usually drive. It's about five minutes. This is going to be Whole Foods. I probably go there next most. Then I also have Hy-Vee, and I also go to Trader Joe's occasionally. So in my neighborhood, we don't have any sidewalks on the streets, but it is very walkable and really pedestrian friendly. Unfortunately, the closest walk to a grocery store is about 20 to 30 minutes. So I don't usually get to walk there, but I can drive over there in just about five minutes. There aren't any super busy streets to cross or anything like that. So it's really safe to walk. And um, there's a lot of places that are restaurants and things like that right around where the grocery store is. We also have like six or seven different grocery stores really close to me. So that's really nice to have. And I do have two dogs, they're Puggles named Lucy and Louie. So I do try to get out and walk with them. Although right now it's very cold. And so we haven't been out in a few days. I also have a two-year-old son and a four-year-old son. My two-year-old is named Willie and my four-year-old is named Bo. So they also keep me very active and out and about. Um, and yeah. One question I have about the course is 
What kind of homework are we normally going to be having? Is it usually just going to be some sort of technology upload like this? Or do we have traditional assignments that we just write up and submit? This is my first movie film thing, so it's a little bit rough and I'm getting used to working in this kind of media. So what are the behaviors of effective online students? Although this is my first semester at K-State, I have been an online student for a couple of semesters already. I think one of the effect most effective behaviors that I have is dedicating time to my classes every single day. And I schedule it out and I don't say, oh, I'm gonna work on it later. I just do everything as soon as I possibly can and get to everything as quickly as I can. That really helps me. I also keep track of all my due dates in my calendar and keep that on me at all times so I kind of know what's coming. How can the instructor and TAs best facilitate this online learning environment? I think the most important thing that an instructor and a TA can do for an online class is just be available for questions and be available through different types of media, like being available via email, being able to chat on the phone, um, or being able to message through Canvas, anything like that for questions that may come up. Um, because when they do, it feels very isolating to not have someone to go talk to directly face to face. So I think it's important that everyone is available for the students. So this is one of my little helpers, and we just want to say that we're excited to get started on this class, and I look forward to learning more about everybody else in the class. So that's all. Bye. Bye.